the man who has been having your money called Ali Yes. Ali Yes, it's called Terry. Someone came and uh, first of all, I was shocked that this person would enter my room when it was closed. Then, when I'm trying to think and gather my thoughts on how did they come in, he didn't even want to talk to me, said, this is what you're going to need. There is not any man, prophet, psychic, whatever you may call them, that has stood in front of masses and has been that detailed and that specific about things year in, year out, and you have seen them before you. Prophet Elvis Mbonye, the prophet with an unmatched record of prophetic fulfillments. These prophecies are indications that you are indeed in the presence of the testimony of Jesus. Who is, or which is, the spirit of prophecy? wants to do a thing in the earth, he only needs one man. And in our generation, with a record-breaking undisputed display of the spirit and power, far outranking any voting policy, popular sentiment, or even human manipulation, is one such man, Prophet Elvis Mbonye. I saw it was a heavy storm, heavy storm almost around the area, hitting really, really heavy. A storm is what comes to mind when describing the recent inauguration of President-elect Donald Trump as foreseen by Prophet Elvis Mbonye. Now, this, this other one, um, I'm, I'm not yet sure um, whether it is symbolic or it was direct. But uh, I saw, um, you know, the, the inauguration of, of Donald Trump? I saw it was a heavy storm, a heavy storm almost around the area, that Washington area, hitting is really, really heavy. Um, uh, if it is not symbolic, you will see that, and it will act as a sign. Eh? Mr. President, in the Bible, rain is a sign of God's blessing. And it started to rain, Mr. President, when you came to the platform. There are three aspects to this prophecy. One, the occurrence of rain at an inauguration in Washington, D.C. is fairly unusual. Since 1973, only one inauguration has had rain, and that was George W. Bush in 2001. It is not surprising that early weather forecasts indicated a warm day for Trump's inauguration. Two, the Trump inauguration is one of the most controversial in history. The fact that the weather became a subject of discussion during the inauguration is peculiar in itself. Three, the intense campaign to discredit Trump's legitimacy as president during the inauguration by politicians, celebrities, special interest groups, and the media was also unprecedented. The media reports a number of protests occurring during the inauguration. and countless other prophetic fulfillments all coming to pass with such accuracy and precise detail as prophesied. One thing is certain, 
We are eyewitnesses to the testimony of Jesus manifest through his chosen prophet to the nations. And as a nation that is host to the greatest prophetic grace ever released, we celebrate and double honor God's foremost prophet of our day, Prophet Elvis Mbonye. This exactly is the reason the Lord brings you before a prophet. If the prophet can pick up on something that has not yet showed up in the physical, and he declares it to you, and you see it, he can tell you that your money is being counted. Glory to God. I hear a sound of an abundance to become an heir of gold, visit our partnership desk every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. at Zoe Grounds opposite KCCA Stadium or visit our website at www.profitelvis.com slash heirs of gold. It's a lifestyle. The power of your name is seen. Thank you, Jesus. The power of your name is seen. It is Jesus. Who of you is married here? You're married? You're married, Timothy. Timothy, Timothy. Yes, it's my husband. Timothy is your husband. Yes. Let's come. The girl in black has come. All of you come. You can tell a brother of the power of the name of Jesus. Your greatness, the world is now ready and open for you. Yes, Father. You shall walk in and shine that light. Yes, Father. You are about to see great, 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 great places. Open. Yes, my God. There's a honor that is about to come to you, and the Spirit of God says, You shall know that you are preserved. While Amen. others shall wonder, you shall know that you are preserved and you've been called and you've been ushered there Amen. by a grace that subdues, Amen. says the Spirit of the living God. Amen. And I shall cause you to rise therein Amen. while the rest see that you may pave a way yes. to so many yes. within my kingdom that shall begin to rise. Yes. In this new way, Amen. says the Spirit of the living God. Amen. And I shall cause your name to be heard yes. from the corners of the earth. Amen. And even now it starts. Amen. Says the Spirit of the Living God. Amen. And nations open up to you. Amen. Says the Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. you Amen. because of the meekness in your heart. Thank you, Jesus. And I will cause so many Amen. so many to come 
and know and understand Amen. the fruits of meekness. Amen. And that your home might know my hand Amen. and my name. Amen. I shall begin to open the things around you that have been held back. And I shall take you in the business world. Amen. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I see the Lord shall use you. I don't know whether you shall know this, but you shall be granted. It's a desire. Business of babies and babies. Yes, yes. Lord, it's a proposal for that. You've done what? Yes, I have a business proposal for that. I trusted it and I want it. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Now, the hand of God is on you Amen. and while so many things fail the spirit of god says this is about to be a turnaround Amen. what appeared like failure upon failure and you waiting on the lord because i see you didn't graduate yes, Papa, you failed yes. one two three papers yes. three yes. three papers yes. thank you jesus one of them was very narrow the spirit of god says now right now Amen. This year, as I lay my hand on you, Jesus. Is there anything you're doing this around school, like in this month? Yes, I'm, I'm studying. I'm doing one of the papers. One of the papers, eh? Yes. In the name of Jesus, you pass it excellently. In the name of Jesus! Now I declare, I declare that your path has been opened starting Amen. from that one. Amen. I declare that the people you will hand this to, this proposal to, that money comes to you. By the time the year is closing, you have set foot. You're going to see a lot of favor in that area. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands on these hands of yours. Thank you, Jesus. You shall capture wealth. You shall get wealth. You shall draw it like a magnet. You shall increase and spread. Say the spirit of the Lord. First come. You have a weak community. I want to pray for you. Eh? I want to pray for sickness and disease to come out of your being. Eh? In the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, strength enters your body. Disease is flushed out, even in your home and family. Eh? In the name of Jesus. Your husband has been struggling eh? yes. financially yes. because he opened up some kind of car wash or something. Yes. A car wash yes. and a catering thing. Eh? Yes. But things have been like stuck. Yes, Papa. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, very much, very true, Papa. Where is he? He's right now in Nibale. He traveled yesterday. What's this? In the name of Jesus. Where do you work? I work with Watoto. Watoto? Yes, Papa. Okay. <laughs> Like your boss there, eh? called Emmeline. Yes, my boss. She has been antagonistic. Yes. Very hostile. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The hand of God. What do you want me to do now? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we should take it slow, eh? <laughs> Brasilama, Domo Colomo, Silama. 
Let's take it slow, kid. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May favor come to you. In the name of Jesus. You could in the area of a Greek farming. farming. Yes, Papa, I have an interest of becoming a, a, a sitting on the throne of exporting food to the entire world. Now, leave this. I'm not saying leave it and go, eh? but that is the area where there's a lot that is going to be opened up for you. Amen. Right, right now when I'm laying hands on you, it is happening now. Amen. Eh? Because you see, you have even desired to buy farmland, eh? to get farmland. Eh? Yes, Papa. In uh, Matuga. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Eh? Yes, Papa. Have you come across a man called Lule? Lule? Yes, he's the owner of that land. The owner of the land. that land. I want it. Do you know what is happening here? Eh? Yes, Papa. May he reduce it for you. He will run out of market. Eh? Amen. Because he rejected, but Amen. he will run out until he gives it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I command finances to come your way. I declare every dry spell to be cancelled. Cancelled, cancelled. The Spirit of God says, if you actually know what is happening to you now, eh, there's tremendous miracles that are on your door now. Eh? Because there's a man who has been having your money called Arinuitu. Yes, Arinaitu. Yes, yes, it's called Tere. Arinaitu. He's been having your money. Yes, Papa. Now the sign is coming. Amen. The sign has oh, come. Amen. Now the Spirit of God is doing this to show you amen, not to doubt His hand. Oh, God, I bless you. In the name of Jesus. Amen, Papa. In the name of amen. Jesus. I cut the chains that have held back amen. your finances. Amen. Right now, amen. increase, amen. increase. Possess, possess. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as I lay my hand on you, there's a new grace and a new glory on you. You shall lead. You shall lead and gather so many and rise up afresh, says the Spirit of the living God. There will be so much favor for penetration. The Spirit of God says, for a new chapter has begun. Amen. A chapter of glory and freshness. Amen. A chapter of increase and penetration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. A couple of months ago, I was on the Pacific in an ocean, in the Pacific Ocean. And uh, I had the place to myself, the room to myself, that had uh, at the balcony. It was the best place because I'm, uh, anyway, let's not go here. So anyway, so in the night, I decided to go and uh, pray and meditate while the ship 
had to stop somewhere middle in the ocean where all that you could see was uh, just the vastness of the ocean and it was all this majesty of creation and quietness. So because I, I, I had this balcony that was convenient where I could sit by myself, I went there to meditate and to pray. And while I was praying and meditating, from about uh, 10 to about uh, about 4 in the night, someone came and uh, this person had a tray. And they put a tray of uh, what appeared like bread and what, what appeared like a certain drink in a certain bottle cyclish bottle next to me and I first of all I was shocked that this person would enter my room when it was closed but I thought you know it was just quick thinking I thought this must be you know I think they have obviously the key while I'm still thinking of, I first tried to stop them then he said no he didn't even want to talk to me he said uh, this is what you're going to need just press it this like that this is what you're going to need Phew. while I'm trying to ask them they were already marching out then when I'm trying to think and gather my thoughts on how did they come in, where are they going, I didn't even order for this, how can they just come and bring, all of a sudden the place became green and brilliant. I was away from the ship. I was in another dimension. I was seated in a very, very, very snow white chair with cushion in a garden. And uh, then the Lord came smiling from across and he sat next in the chair just smiling at me and uh, <laughs> I noticed that uh, this tray and the bread and the drink were exactly the things that were handed to me when I was uh, down on the boat on the ship so the, the, the Lord was smiling like trying to like smiling and knowing what I'm, that I'm surprised and, you know, I'm in some kind of state of, uh, you know, what is going on here. So, this was a very beautiful garden and was seated together. So he got the bread and he broke it and he gave me to eat. So when I got it and I started to eat, something very unusual happened that had never happened to me to that day. While I started to chew on it, I felt my body down there chewing as well on it while I was chewing on it here. I can't explain to you how, but that's exactly how it has happened. <laughs> then, he gave me the drink. And when I held it, I was first surprised because I thought, but this is wine. <laughs> and he looked at me and smiled. And I knew I don't think this, one, this kind here can mess me up. Eh? So I grabbed it and I, I drank it as well. And then I, as I was drinking it again, I would feel my body. Again, it was going right through me. Everything, I can't explain how it was happening both here and there. So then he looked at me after I'd eaten and I, and I drank. He looked at me and smiled. And then he said to me, and so shall you teach my people intimacy that when they see you they shall know of my life and they shall feed on it then straight away i came back and then on that table the tray was not there then you know nothing no bread nothing <laughs> and then i began to think and wonder and I began to understand trans-dimension, among all things, trans-dimensional existence. How you can live on this earth and yet be seated with Christ in the heavenly places. How you can actually, I'm not saying some of you, no, no, actually interact with the heavenlies while you are here on earth. And let me tell you, it doesn't have to start so spectacularly. It doesn't have to. The only thing, you see, the only thing 
that messes you up is when you begin to feel this sense of peace and harmony about, you know, while you are pondering on the heavenlies, you allow yourself to be hammered mentally and then you come out of it and you lose it. And when you do not see a definiteness about it, you run away from it. You don't let it develop until it prevails over any kind of reasons. But I can assure you that the days have come when the remnants of God shall live on earth as it is in heaven actually. I'm, I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. The heavenly life, the heavenly estate is not foreign to you. Neither are you foreign to it. But now you see, that is exactly then what happens. When you grow in it, and you attune yourself accordingly, you will discover a pattern of life that is so different from the earthly. And then you will understand what it means to have a ministry or the ministry of reconciliation. What that actually means is you will start reconciling everything that has fallen away from the obedience of the knowledge of God to yourself. Now, in other words, you will reconcile your health, you will reconcile your pockets, you will reconcile everything that was falling away. That is the ministry of reconciliation. It is things that have run wild away from you and they are not living the way they ought to live because they are supposed to be subject to you. Everything in your life is supposed to be in harmony with you, with your desires. Now, you will learn that. You will learn that when you begin to understand that you are transdimensional. When you begin to take advantage of it, take advantage of it, invisible as it may seem for now, faint as it may seem for now. You get yourself practiced in it, meditate on it, it will get stronger and stronger and stronger until it prevails. Glory to God. You can now listen, purchase, download, and watch Supernatural Life Awakening messages from Prophet Elvis Simbonye on your laptop, tablet, phone, and all other devices at your own convenience, anywhere from your cars to your homes and workplaces by visiting ProfitElvis.com slash shop. Tomorrow about this time, you surely will be in a better place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Tomorrow about this time, you surely will be in a better place. Glory to God. Prophet Elvis Mbony, Tuesdays, 5.30 p.m. at Zoe Grounds, opposite KCCA Stadium, Lugogo, Kampala, Uganda. Connect with Prophet Elvis Mbonye by going to www.prophetelvis.com slash Facebook, prophetelvis.com slash Twitter, prophetelvis.com slash Instagram, and prophetelvis.com slash YouTube. For this and more information, visit our website at www.prophetelvis.com.